Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Cece and Tarot. So we're going to get into Gemini no contact read today. Um, this is going to be a general read, not a personal one. So if this does not resonate, don't try to make it fit. Um, if it fits, it fits. Okay, take what resonates for you and throw out the rest. These are all general reads, not personal ones, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. Um, for those of you who want confirmation on your situation and it resonates and you want a personal reading to just check on your situation, please check out the description box. I uploaded, well, updated everything today from the prices for classes. I also um, have the prices for sessions that I do have available, um, the email address, the payment method, everything is updated within the description box, okay? All right, so let's just see what we have for you, gems, when it comes to the person that you're thinking about and the person that's thinking about you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angel Guides, Ancestors. What's going on for Geminis? <clears throat> Geminis, no contact read. The person that Gemini is thinking about. And I'm also going to um, tap into this person's energy right after yours. But I want to see, look at that, breaking the card again, right? I wanted to see what um, the overall energy is for you, okay? What your thoughts are about the energy, how you are viewing this situation. Okay, so let's just see what we have. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. So you have the seven of uh, pentacles here. You also have the chariot. You also have the six of wands energy. And you have the six of pentacles energy. You have the ten of swords. And you have the queen of cups in reverse. So definitely feel like you're just feeling insecure with this connection, you know? You're not 100% okay with where you are um, with this person. You're unsure about the feelings that this person has for you. You're unsure about the feelings that you have for this person as well. Like, is it even worth it? <laughs> um, you just don't know. Um, this person is confused. At least this is how you're coming off towards this person. Like they have something else going on. Like they're confused on where they want to be and what direction they want to take. Um, this person is backing away. Like everything very, everything feels very uncertain for you right now, Gems, when it comes to this relationship. Like a lot of you don't know if this person is going to re be returning to you. Um, this is what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing the seven of pentacles as well. So there was a lot of things that you have invested within the situation and you feel like this has failed, like this investment has failed, like the preparation that you put into place has failed, hasn't taken off. And I feel like you have no other option to just work on yourself, work on the things that you enjoy and that you love. And I feel with that energy, like you're going to be very successful because the Six of Wands is basically that victory energy for those of you. So you need to know that you're on the right path. But I do see the frustration within the Six of Pentacles in reverse, where you're giving so much of yourself and not receiving anything back. And this is really triggering you because this is your energy, Gems. This is a Ten of Swords. And you're going through a lot of mental and physical and physical triggers within your life. And this is in the upright. So this is a, a constant energy, a constant battle. This is what I'm seeing here. So, wow. Let's see what we have here. Tell me more. All right, so you also have the seven of pentacles, well, I was about to say pentacles, the seven of cups, the page of pentacles, the two of wands in reverse, the king of swords, okay, 
the Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands in reverse. I definitely feel like you changed here or something is definitely bothering you. Um, you have the Queen of Cups in reverse where you feel like emotionally insecure within your situation, even depressed or emotionally depressed because you're exhausted of how this is moving. One moment it seems like it's going somewhere, like this person feels the same way. And then the next minute this person doesn't feel the same way. And this is the energy that you are receiving from this person. And this is making you very confused within the chariot. Um, this is what I'm seeing here. But this person is also coming off very confused within the chariot here. Um, and when the per this person is confused, look at that, the two of pentacles on the back of the deck. I'm not even done yet, but you know, the angels are giving me signs here that there is some kind of going back and forth to something else. Like this person is giving me a vibe like they are seeing someone else or there is someone else coming up within your situation already, okay? Um, and you're asking questions. You're asking questions about this. You're being smarter, wiser. It might come off of you being aggressive or confrontational, but you're trying to nip something in the butt because you feel like this got out of hand. And the reason why it got out of hand is because you let a lot of things slide, okay? Like you saw a lot of red flags and you decided not to do anything, not to say anything. And I'm also seeing the cause of this the cause of this seven of pentacles happening within reverse is because they were focused on something else and i feel like gemini's we just did an energy pull of yours which bring up a similar situation of how this person was focused on this seven of uh, cups energy now the seven of cups could be multiple other energies which could be multiple partnerships or this could be a family situation. I do feel like this is something to the heart. This is something that they had invested in because they're really trying to make these people happy right now. And I'm also seeing like this person is trying to make you happy as well by giving back something to you. I feel like they have just received news about moving up in a job or getting some kind of money and they want to share this with you because they had a decision to make before and I felt like this person made the wrong decision within the two of wands energy and I'm seeing a communication between you and this person so conversation is on the horizon between you and this person so get prepared okay let me just put you guys up a little bit because I feel like we can I think that's it <laughs> I thought you guys can go up a little bit more but I guess not I guess that's it but I'm seeing conversation so that's going to be good between you and this person. I'm also seeing a break, um, like a, a break was in place and this break is because of mental agony. Like this person have caused you to, you know, have a breakdown. You needed some time to raise, some time to think, some time to recharge. And it's crazy that you have the 10 here, the 10 of swords that talks about mental illness. And um, I feel like that's a constant vibration and that's something that you need to work on to close those chapters. But I feel like this is in play and then this is right under it. It's going to be very hard for you, right? You have to make sure that, you know, you're protecting your energy because you're so vulnerable, vulnerable, right? Is that a word? Vulnerable? Vulnerable? <laughs> Listen. Um, and, you know, you just need to protect yourself. So... This is what I'm getting here. Um, ooh, okay, let's just see. Ooh, let's just see what we have. I don't see any major arcanas in Cancer. For those of you who are dealing with a Cancer, or ooh, now we have them. All right, so we have Eries here. Okay, within the Emperor, we have um, the, the Hangman within Pisces. We also have Taurus within the Hypheront. 
So a lot of Major Arcana, I, I spoke too soon, that is coming out. We also have the King of Cups. It's crazy how a contract is also coming out here because you have the King and then you have the Queen in reverse. So clearly you and this person was supposed to experience some kind of emotional connection towards each other. And I just feel like you are blocking that energy. It's like there's definitely a blockage there okay like you're protecting yourself and how you feel you don't feel safe for this person knowing how you feel then i'm seeing the page of wands and i'm also seeing the three of pentacles as well so i definitely feel like there is something more here like you're supposed to learn something more together like there's still a lesson here within the three of pentacles okay and you're going to acknowledge this very soon i feel like you're going to do very well like something that is still meant to happen between you and this person that you're going to be doing very well like you and this person is going to figure it out but i just feel like there's a blockage here when it comes to your emotion i do see conversation within this no contact energy but i do see your frustration now the blockage is still into place you guys so this has to be lifted before anything for you to intake the information and to be able to move on with the conversation that you're going to have or to put the pieces together within the conversation with the answers and the the, the clarity and the closure that you're going to get from it and be able to move forward from that but i'm also seeing some kind of codependence within the high front here um, this could be a marriage for some of you that went wrong um, or this person is listening to other people this person is listening to their family their friends um, making decision based on that not really paying attention to you um, i'm just getting that right now they're focused on other people they're watching you from afar as well, this person that is not into your life. But I'm also feeling like what you need to pay attention to is the fact that I'm not seeing a change here, okay? When it comes to putting their tail between their legs and making the first move, like they want you to do that, okay? Like they're not going to forgive like so easily. I just feel like there's a lot of pride here and they need to forgive. They need to move on, but this person can be very selfish, self-righteous, okay? And something else that I'm seeing here, like they're faking their beliefs. So the things that you could be interested in, this person is not interested in. Like you think that you have a lot in common, but you're realizing that now this person might not have the same things in common as you or want to do the same thing as you. I'm also seeing like this person has lost or failed within their family. Something about their past, like they have lost. Hmm, interesting. And I'm also seeing the Knight of Cups here. The, not the Knight, the King of Cups, like I said before. You know, not only that you have some kind of insecurities within this relationship, but this person also point the finger and blame you for everything that have occurred and say that you didn't do enough within this connection. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of emotional manipulation here. Okay? Like this person is hot-headed as well like you just don't know what you're going to get and you're exhausted of this moodiness okay because this is emotional you know emotional um manipulation i feel like what you need to be careful about is making sure that you don't apply the same energy as they are towards them okay because you're the queen of cups which which can also be and like a lot of manipulation there too okay in reverse and you're both in reverse masculine and feminine energy going back and forth blame each other blaming each other for where this relationship is going okay all right so i'm seeing a new perspective here where it's going to help you to work together with this person like i said there is some kind of lesson that you're supposed to be learning towards each other all right, so let's just see the, the clarifications of what this is. I'm just putting up these cards. I totally keep doing that. 
and just see what we have. I'm just going to sit back a little bit with this chair. <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying your day. It's very sunny on my end. It's like 90 degrees outside today, so very, very sunny. So let's just see what we have here. Let's see what we have. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What is the energy? Ooh, I keep breaking my card, my deck. <clears throat> What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, let's just clarify. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. Oh my, cards fell to the floor, you guys. Cards fell to the floor. I think they fell all the way back there and I'm gonna have to get it because it could be something important. <laughs> I'm just trying to find everything. So it could be something important. All right, so I'm just gonna take it, let's see. All right, we have the Six of Swords and we have the paint the knight of cups so the knight of cups and the six of swords the seven of pentacles in reverse something didn't work out here there was a move there was a new beginning a second chance that didn't work out there was a second chance that didn't work out between you and this person this is what this is like you're supposed to try again and this didn't work. You put so much time and investment into this situation as well. There's a lot of feelings here. You really wanted this, ch this second chance. And it just didn't happen. Some of you put money down on a place. And it just didn't work out. Tell me about this chariot. The chariot. That's crazy. In reverse. The chariot confirms the chariot. That's crazy when that happens. The chariot confirms the chariot. So there is confusion here. Like this person doesn't know which direction to take. They're confused. Reckless, careless energy. I feel like they caused this. This could be another person here within the chariot, you guys. Or they're just having second thoughts about this direction. Tell me about this chariot. Yeah, they're not putting in the energy the investment it seems like you did this on your own like this new move that was supposed to take place this new venture between you and this person that was supposed to take place like it seems like you did this on your own like they had nothing to do with it on a, a, a like when it comes to invest in when it comes to you know building that security for you and them there was just an imbalanced energy like you're doing more tell me more about the six of pentacles the sun in reverse leo's energy major arcana It's like there wasn't any bliss like this person is saying like like you just feel like this was the wrong place to be like in this relationship like you just felt like it was just not right like something was off here within the sun like this person wasn't happy and you tried to make this person happy the knight of wands in reverse I just feel like within this person like they were trying to 
appear to be like that masculine energy within your life and making all the right calls and decisions but something here where this person just did not do that it's like whatever they tried it just didn't work tell me about this queen of cups why is it in reverse you're just insecure because this person had chosen before again and this person has chosen wrong you're telling me that this person has chosen before and then the past and they have chosen wrong so this connection is not like an experience that you're just going through with this person for the very first time I'm getting like you've been with this you've been going through this situation with this person for a long time All right, let's see. <laughs> Tell me about the two of wands again. No, give me about the two of wands. And it's crazy because it says that you were ha you had a conversation with this person, and it seems like you were you guys were on the same track within the queens of the queen of swords energy. I don't know why if I said wands, but queens of swords energy, like you all were on the same track. Like there was a balance between you and this person. Like you had a conversation about this and they had a choice and they still made the wrong decision. So this was very surprising for you. You were very shook about the situation and this is why you have changed when it comes to the nurturing side of you you are just protecting yourself this is what i'm seeing so tell me about the queen of wands energy in reverse you want happiness you want fulfillment you want you know to be to have a future and this is why you are asking questions now you want joy you want unity you want um harmony within your situation you want to move to engagement marriage for those of you if you guys are already married because i'm seeing the her the high front here in reverse like there is some kind of reverse energy with marriage here you want to save your marriage all right so tell me about the high front taurus energy major arcana for those of you who resonates with that that's your clarification all right tell me more the seven of swords in reverse a liar revealed the lies are out in the open everything is cleaned <laughs> out okay now a lot of you might be rethinking things this is what i'm seeing here rethinking this person um, approaching this as in a whole new light here there was a lot of deceit here. I feel like this person self-sabotaged this connection. Okay? They self-sabotaged this connection. Okay, tell me more. I mean, a lot of you could be trying again because you do have the 1111 here. Now that this, the truth is out, you can start over. But this person got all caught up in their lies yeah there's an incompletion so there's more to learn there's more here just like within the three of uh, pentacles <laughs> you and this person has more to to learn from each other tell me about the pisces energy the hangman energy you have the eight of pentacles so this person is trying to do better this is what i'm seeing but i don't feel like they're trying to change their ways on the inside they're trying to change their ways on the outside so they're trying to show you um the stability they're trying to show you the change within their lives on the outside but on the inside they're still the same tell me about the emperor They're trying to bring balance back to your situation within the six. Give you back something. This is the six, the gift. <laughs> give you back something here. You have the six of wands too. Like the Holy Spirit has blessed you um, with many different things within your life. And I'm seeing like you're also being given back some kind of balance because of this person. 
this could be for a spiritual breakthrough or i'm just seeing like tell me more yeah this person two of pentacles this person is trying to do something give you back something but i just want to be clear this person still has a two of pentacles so whatever they're confused about um they're still holding on to that okay just want you guys to know tell me about the king of cups all right the king of cups in reverse the five of pentacles so a lot of you this person left you on your own um you were planning things you were getting things in order and this person left you and abandoned you all right and this is also a constant connection within the five of pentacles this hardship that you're going through and it's a constant vibration and i'm seeing that you're still dealing with that with even in this moment tell me more about that five of pentacles <clears throat> this is also about a third party or some kind of um friend that betrayed you and took your person or try to steal your person or cause a lot of conflicts within your life but i don't feel like you're friends with this person anymore it's a shady situation the holy spirit is saying like you know what this give this time healing trust in the process trust in the process as well angel gabrielle not gabrielle Raphael. healing healing yourself why is cards flying all over the place healing yourself healing the situation around you emotional healing know that there's a bigger picture to all of this within the temperance in reverse sag energy and learn how to trust that energy as well excuse me you guys hi how are you how are you i'm still here hi hi <laughs> I just have GMR to go. <laughs> I have some cards that fell on the floor. I'm always in my body, y'all. Always and forever. All right, so let's just see. The cards are always flying. Tell me more about the temperance. I feel like you have wasted your time here but i feel like within a temperance you haven't the holy spirit is like you know these things are going to happen over time these things are going to happen on the right time but there is something about you that you need to take your power back because you have so much work to do within yourself especially when it comes to the past especially when it comes to about your your parents or your your family all right like you have so much work to do with forgiveness and letting go as well all right so let's just get into their energy this is a no contact read so we want to see what this person is thinking about on you know their level okay so let's see here let's see what this person got going on <coughs> excuse me guys i have a little try like the dry cough that seems to not be going anywhere it will go somewhere but it's like i told you i felt like i had covid i don't know where i got it from okay because i've been careful not really i guess not because i don't go anywhere with masks but you know you have to take care of yourself because you know we just act like covid is not around but it is it's still there and it's spiked but thank god i have my shots so I'm not that worried. Um, but yeah. Okay, so even though we don't know what's in there, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Look at I. All right, so let's see what we have when it comes to this energy. What is this person so low towards Gemini's? 
This person's energy is so low towards Gemini's. This person's energy is so low towards Gemini's. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Holy Father. What this person wants to let Gemini's in on. Wow, the temperance in the upright. So crazy how Angel Raphael is coming up in your energy like you need to take the time on your own, like for yourself to heal. Um, and I'm seeing like this person is also getting like a similar energy as well within the temperance being here um, to choose themselves. So it's like you need to trust the time in. When it comes to divine, you need to trust that that process because there is a process and this person needs to start to trust themselves. It's like you guys have um, similar things that you're dealing with. But I'm also seeing the ace of ace of cups in reverse for this person. The judgment energy also showing up here. The temperance as well. We have the three of pentacles energy for this person as well. The seven of wands energy and the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles is in the upright for this person as well, just like it was for you, which is a constant vibration. So this person is also going through a lot of trials and tribulations. Um, you know, when it comes to finances, when it comes to feeling lost, losing a lot, feeling like they're on the outside looking in. Um, they're also feeling like they lost some form of control or they gave up on a certain situation or certain relationship, okay? Like they gave up on the relationship when it came too serious or, you know, they were being attacked or they feel like they were being attacked or they weren't liked. They just gave up on this fight. Like they just stopped protecting the relationship. Like there was no protection here. They feel like they have learned so much from you. And there is still a lesson here like i said before there's still a lesson for you and this person and they feel it so this is an incompletion of course and i'm also seeing angels around this situation you have the judgment you have angel Raphael as well there's also judgment here so some kind of karmic energy or a decent a decision has been made within this decision the situation <laughs> Um, when it comes to this love because I'm also seeing like the love energy is also in reverse here. Okay, so The love energy is in reverse hmm, Interesting And when I say in reverse, it's just a delay. Something has been called here. Yeah, judgment called. I feel like, you know, this relationship really affected you on a spiritual level. It was like, like I'm seeing like both of you haven't grown spiritually, like how the, the angels want you to grow towards each other and it doesn't happen that way but i do feel like yes this person have learned a lot from you you know that energy is still coming up so you have the two of swords here you also have the 11 11 the four of wands in the upright the hermit energy in reverse the nine of wands energy and you also have the world and you have the four of sword the four of swords energy so the four of swords energy is in the upright you guys and also the world is showing up in the upright as well within this person's energy so there is a change here now they have the judgment they have the world so there is a, a change there is a call there's a completion um with your energy there's an incompletion so I just feel like something changed on this person's end, all right? There's something that you still need to go back into the past about, but this person is ready to move in the future. 
and it's crazy because they have that energy here within the 1111 like this is about their future so they mean they need to make some form of difficult decision but it's like this is the two of swords this is difficult as it's going to get because they feel like no matter what there is going to be a loss here no matter how they decide okay we have the hermit energy well which is virgo major arcana gemini aquarius taurus leo scorpio the four of swords energy there's a break between you and this person which is the no contact situation and this is also still there so a lot of you are not speaking right now there's nothing happening okay um you also have the knight of wands you have the ace of wands you have the star you have the two of pentacles and you have the three of wands and you have the conversation which i'm loving which is the king of swords it's a little bit of stern energy not a little bit a lot this is masculine okay so this person is either they're saying gems that they're this is them because they're they full of gems within their chart or this could be you pushing in trying to have some form of conversation with this person as well okay because the king of swords was ruled by it was also ruled by Pi, um not pisces is it well no it says every deck is so different um but this one says tor this is what taurus and no it's not taurus yes yeah, taurus and gemini's i know this is ruled by gems but they have taurus on there too so for those of you who are dealing with the taurus okay and i feel like it's because it's may it starts from may 11th um to june 10th okay so that's what they're talking about like tauruses and that's in may <laughs> and then you know gemini's in june like you know that particular zone um this person is watching you preparing and trying to find out how to go back home this is what i'm seeing here so they're in some kind of situation right now this could be a relationship okay something that they're committed to that is causing some kind of you know complication so this person could be with someone right now this is what i'm seeing here and they're trying to find out like how how to go back they need to explore something they feel like they're being pulled back because they need to explore something not something from the past I feel like this is something more like moving in the future it's like they still want some kind of future with you but you have this energy that i'm getting that you have unfinished business in the past i'm also seeing the two of pentacles right next to this three of pentacles the three of um wands i keep saying pentacles three of wands energy so this person needs to make a decision within the two of pentacles or two of swords this is difficult they're saying no matter what they do within this situation there is no one that is going to win there's no one that is going to win there's going to be a loss there's going to be sadness this person has a fear of losing you so of course they're rushing with a lot of passion with a lot of um, attraction okay with a lot of power all right and they want to see you here and i feel like this is about having a new beginning a new opportunity with you again you know this is someone from the past because yay this person is coming up like you have a lot of history together but this was hopeless this was helpless this was unexpected you a lot of you are going to be shocked within the star because you weren't seeing this one coming and this person was giving me the energy of like they didn't know either they didn't know it's like this some kind of awakening happened with this person's energy overnight and i feel like it's the spiritual energy here within the judgment this is also about spirit this is about the divine taking hold this is about us you know the angels calling things because this is decided on a, a higher level okay um and this is what happened this person had an awakening a spiritual awakening 
like they want to make something better here so let's just get into this person's energy and see what we got we're going to clarify the Ace of cups first all right and see what we have here thank you so let's see the ace of cups energy and what this is thank you holy spirit What's this energy for the Ace of Cups for... Ooh, something flipped. All right, so we have the Empress in reverse. So I'm getting from the Empress in the ver reverse, the reason why the Ace of Cups, like there is this delay between you and this person, is because this person couldn't perform. Couldn't perform your cup. And your cup is empty within the Ace of Cups. You know, this emotional desire to have some kind of emotional... Um, foundation with this person a connection with this person on a higher level and it seems like you guys can't get to the next level of your relationship even though this person wants some form of celebration engagement you know happiness right it's like you guys can't do that and the reason why this person cannot do that is because I'm seeing like this person has been lying to you when it comes to who they are something about this person they haven't been been showing you their true selves within the empress this person is someone that is very needy someone that needs a lot of attention this is like another child this person could be very lazy this person is just living off of a lot of you as well and this was very shocking because you thought this was someone that you know had the same interest as you do um which is the three of uh, pentacles here because clearly it's like when you're together it seems like you work where you work you work very well together when you are produ productive right when this person is out of bed out of the house and have some kind of passion and determination and you remember this you remember this energy because this this is when you get closer but when this this person doesn't have this drive you become very <laughs> i mean you just become very distant within the relationship so let's just see what we have next we have the seven of wands energy tell me more you have the knight of cups okay so even though this person said hey i have given up from this relationship i still want to have this relationship with you i still want to have a second chance even though i've ran away from my fight from my responsibilities and i left you there to fed for yourself i left you there with the five of pentacles which bothers them because they see that you're still dealing with the five of pentacles on your own like this person is not there to help you with this five of pentacles but somehow they want to change that so let's see what we have next we have the hermit energy so tell me about this hermit energy holy spirit in Virgo. we have the three of cups wow in reverse so i feel like this person pushed you away on a spiritual level not because not only because they were rude to you or they were selfish or they were sabotaging the connection but they were treating you badly because of another person they were treating you badly because of another person and this person seemed to be your friend or a family member because this person is coming up as someone that is the heart okay so this could have been or uh, yeah a friend a best friend perhaps that betrayed you someone very close to you that this person has some kind of shady situation happen on happening and this was also some form of gossip energy there was a lot of talk about you within the situation it's like they were bad talking you um they were causing a lot more problems when it comes to your relationship than bringing you guys back together all right so tell me about the star energy this person doesn't have a lot to clarify interesting the star is the sun in reverse so you are very saddened because you really felt like this was hopeless helpless like no one can fix this 
um, and it just get worse and worse every day and this really brought some kind of sad energy within your life this person is saying like no one was happy here within the situation um, and it has a lot to do they're like really bringing you back to your past like the reason why you are going back into your past is because you have unfinished business within the Sun that's crazy that they're bringing that because this person has a completion this person wants to move back move on in the future that's what they're saying like it's very important for them to move on in the future so tell me about this world energy holy spirit yeah they want to move on into their relationship for those of you who are married to this person or are trying to face some kind of engagement or moving forward to the next level of your relationship this person has made a decision to do that so they're they're living in the future and they're saying that you're still living in the past so tell me about this four swords holy spirit oh you have the star here not the star oh my god the strength you have the strength here with an angel michael it's like they're saying there's still like a blockage but angel michael is pushing them to break this and to have courage to break this to confront this situation on a calmer level try not to have an argument try not to like trying to discredit someone you know of their you know of their successes put this person up build this person up like they're trying to have this person move towards some kind of positivity um because i feel like this energy this person loses their passion with you a lot okay i feel like there was so much because i'm just seeing like over here there's a lot of codependency and the ace of cups is in reverse like the cup is in reverse because of the codependency the laziness the drive okay making you feel like you are used something about being used here okay not making decisions or good decisions um being like you can't create like this person is not a creative person so it's like you're bringing all of this up about this person and this is why the ace of cups is in reverse like they're saying well they say i'm codependent they're saying that um i'm lazy i'm a user <laughs> um like everything that this person have achieved not everything that you have achieved like this person had nothing to do with it so you just feel like this person took advantage of you and i feel like angel michael is pushing this person to break this breakup to break this blockage because there is a blockage here okay let me just see what the energy is when it comes to this person for you okay let's see let's see what this person feels in the present moment we're going to do a lot of swatch a lot of nine card swatch for you this person's energy what's this person's feelings for Gemini please? this person's feelings for Gemini's in the present moment what are this person thoughts when it comes to Gemini's in the present moment Let's see. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this person has. A huge regret. Oh my goodness. When he comes to you, you are their huge regret. And it's not in a bad way, it's in a good way. All right so this person wants to try again they feel like they have learned a lot from you you have the eight of cups here you have the fools in the upright you also have the three of pentacles okay you have the king of pentacles 
the ace of wands the justice Woof. all right um you also have the three of cups the third party situation that keeps coming up in every poll you have the four of pentacles and you have the ten of pentacles so this person clearly looks at you as someone that they constantly learn from the the time that you have spent together this person have learned so much from you and um i feel like they're giving you the justice within that chariot energy that we were confused about or the chariot energy that they made you feel confused within your relationship they're going to choose you within the justice and i'm also seeing like the justice represents truth as well so whatever was lied upon whatever was hidden from you there is going to be truth I, like i said today i'm in the front of the window i'm in the backyard i keep seeing this yellow butterfly going back and forth back and forth the whole time that i've been down here in this room in my mom's house and i feel like that yellow butterfly and i keep telling you guys about yellow butterflies hope 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 anytime you see them listen to your intuition listen to your intuition it symbolizes hope okay to keep the hope alive um and i'm seeing that this person can be very manipulative there's you know some bad things about this person where they can be very manipulative there is a blockage between you and this person in the center of all things look at this ace of wands energy in reverse so you guys are not having no form of action not sleeping together anymore there's no physical you know movements going on here when it comes to you and this connection i'm also seeing the third party situation is something shady that keeps coming up here and this is something that you constantly trying to work on with this person but when you give this person a second chance and i feel like this person kind of forced these check these second chances on you because they rush in they end up at your door you don't have time to process you're in your feelings and you end up where you are again right so and i feel like within this energy there's an energy for me where this person is not giving you a hundred percent because why the four why trying to give you this security right this this time spent when they're trying to control that you know stability they're trying to have some kind of power over that stability they're really giving you that possessive energy like they're too possessive over this security like why is it happening this way why is this person hiding this you know why is this person not showing up when you make plans why are they ghosting you why are you waiting for them to pick you up and they're nowhere to be found and then they come the next day unannounced uninvited and saying hey what up like nothing never happens right and then you have the ten of pentacles here okay so a lot of you already have some form of contract with this person where this is about a family this is about a child this is about a house this is about money this is about businesses okay for those of you like you already built some kind of empire with this person something that you have worked so hard on invested so much work this person is saying they're always working like you need to solve something and they're always working they're never around and now you know that they're not really working now you know that this person is not really working so let's clarify some cards in reverse here okay we have the eight of cups which is you know <laughs> making a decision to walk away and feeling like they regret it walking around in regret going on this journey trying to experience something new like it's greener on the other side but realizing like damn i should have stayed where i was this is what this person is dealing with and now they want to come back again with that energy of like nothing never happened the fools <laughs> what they have learned <laughs> new beginning and you might just embrace this person because that fool's energy energy honey is strong okay then we have the three of pentacles and i'm seeing you guys blending together working together justice is here okay the only thing that you guys need to work on is these four things 
the third party, which is going to be heavy, the time. Once you get rid of the third party situation or whatever this is, you're going to have more time with this person. This person won't lie about where they are and what they're doing. Okay. And then there's going to be no breakup. Okay. So <laughs> now being careful saying that you cannot blame this third party for your failed relationship because the third party don't owe you nothing. This person don't owe you nothing. What you got to do is control your person that owes you something. The one that you're invested in. This person right here. That's what we, we people be forgetting. We be so mad at the third person. <sighs> but that person don't owe you nothing. If they were a friend, for some of you I'm getting a friend <coughs> that betrayed you, talking about you behind your back, back gossiping, gossiping about you. Yeah, they owe you something. Then you be mad. Then you you have the right to be mad because you up in my face talking all that stuff and then you behind my back talking mad trash about me with my person. Are you kidding me? Why? Of course they're jealous of you and what you got. That's the only reason. Okay? <laughs> but they don't know what you're dealing with with this person. This ain't the first time. People come in your life and they just see what you got and they just want it. But they don't know the history. How you got what you got. And how and and, and 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 what you had to sacrifice to be here. Some of you had to sacrifice your identity, your dreams, yourself, your power. Okay? To be here. But they see these ten of pentacles energy, the home, the laughter, the kids running around looking healthy and strong, you know? The family getting together, you having so much to do, and you have a life that they don't have. They're home in their little place alone, crying, wishing for a girl or wishing for a man or a partner, okay? So, let's clarify. <laughs> let's clarify. Tell me about this uh, eight, this eight of cups in reverse, Holy Spirit. This eight of cups in reverse. What is this about? The eight of swords. <laughs> the eight of swords. They wish they never lied to you, kept you restricted, <sighs> kept you trapped, played with your head. Tell me more. They wish they just stayed home. Look at that. The ace of cups. What you wanted, right? Remember how your cup was empty? Huh. Now they wish that they filled your cup. How interesting. Living in regret. Living in a huge regret. A massive regret about you. They sabotage. They self-sabotage this connection for your fake friend, fake family member. Okay? Or their fake friend, fake family member that talked about you. And if this, this seems like a friend, like you see, eat and drink together. This is eating, clubbing, drinking together. Okay? This is in reverse, baby. You ain't friends with this person no more. This person is a liar. This person is shady. All right? Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Look at this. Three cards. What? Let's come out. Okay. Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. We have the Emperor. And we have the Magician. Yep, a lot of power energy in the upright. This person was trying to avoid somebody here. So I'm seeing they're trying to avoid you. They're trying to avoid your daddy or somebody older. A masculine energy. And they're trying to avoid spirit. They're trying to avoid uh, power. Somebody that's in power. This could be a Gemini, a Virgo, or a Scorpio. <coughs> Somebody has power. So this person has power. I don't know if it's your daddy or your mama. Or somebody that raised you. Or somebody that raised them that has the power to control them. But they're trying to avoid you. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands. 
you are more nurturing but this person is the one that makes the calls it seems like this person promised made a promise to somebody that they wouldn't do this to you and it's like they're trying to avoid that situation tell me about the three of cups <laughs> this is definitely looking like they're friends the, the page of swords this is someone that they run to talk to all the time this is full of gossip messages information exchange mess messages and information this could be someone that you used to talk to as well whoever this is is someone that is watching behind the scenes you going through so many situations and they're acting like they that they don't know nothing about it like this is just news to them but they have a lot to do with it so the person that's stabbing you in the back is a no-show Pisces energy okay they're coming in like they need you this could be a best friend for some of y'all like I'm here now baby you could cry on my shoulders hmm I don't know I feel like this person for some of y'all did this because of jealousy not jealous of your person but jealous of you like cutting them off for this person like they're saying like some of you not all of you I'm not getting this for all of you but some of you they're saying like you were single at one point you used to drink together have fun together then you got in a relationship and you change so this person is talking about you behind your back with this one now with your person that you <laughs> what's that because you forgot them they're like what about me you forgot me so they're trying to wreck your relationship so they can have you back all to themselves so they can drink with you hang with you club with you they want that lifestyle this one they they don't got no person nobody to like go on a, 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 a what they call it a, a, a date with you like a double date that's what you call it they don't have that life yet they still single they still dating they still you know they don't have that where you guys can talk about relationships but right now all they're thinking about is messing up what you got so they can have you back whatever that is they just want you to themselves oh my gosh but this is what i have y'all okay this is what i have no contact energy so this person is going to give you the justice this person want to be with you but you got somebody here that's real shady okay if this resonates you know what to do like the video y'all comment section is off until further notice i just need to pay attention to the messages i feel like when the comment section is off y'all could just take the messages for what it is okay so the comment section is a gift okay not to be abused and i feel like you know what it's just you know it's just all over the place so therefore i can't focus like that i can't be going back and forth in the comment section with people that's messing up my energy okay i work so far on a spiritual level to be up here and not to be low okay with with whatever vibration that is in the comment section all right so <laughs> please y'all i hope you understand that and a lot of y'all don't mind because i'll be getting comments like girl protect your energy we understand <laughs> so and that's the old g's the g's that you know be supporting me and they're just with me grinding with me so thank you guys again for all y'all support so i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys